In Guatemala, many families are forced to survive on wages of less than $2.50 a day. The children of these families suffer greatly, and the vast majority of them don't even own shoes. One of these children was named Miguel. Miguel's family could only afford one pair of shoes for him and his brother. Because of this, they would have to rotate the shoes. Miguel would go one week, and his brother the next. Both humbled and inspired by Miguel's story, the students measured his feet and bought him a pair of shoes. The next day when he received his gift, Miguel took the shoes out of the box, held them high above his head, and ran home. Moved by the generosity of the students, Megan Baker and Colin Conrad of Cooter's Service Club started their own shoe drive. Going into each class and collecting from the generosity in the hearts of Cooter's students, they raised over $1,200 and bought 80 pairs of shoes. In the summer of 2010, these shoes were brought and distributed to the town of Segunda Cruz in the heart of Guatemala. You think to yourself, why am I, why am I sad if these kids, and I'm living with all the stuff that I have, and why am I sad if they're living with nothing and they're thrilled? And many of them don't have one pair of shoes, and you're just providing them with like a new life. When they get a pair of shoes, it's like getting a new present at Christmas, and I just thought that was amazing. And that, like, just their smiles and that look in their faces really, really just kind of makes you feel good that you're able to be part of this thing and be able to give somebody as simple as shoes and make their day. Today was amazing. I mean, nothing like seeing those kids with the new shoes on their feet, ready to go play football. I mean, just makes me feel good in the heart. So, my initial reaction the first time we went up there was that I looked at their feet and these kids are running around in dirt with no shoes on. I, from that moment, knew that one, like a really good thing to give these kids would be shoes. Uh, he said thanks for everything that you brought and I give you a big, big hug.